Hello today's video we have the following content. Wang Yibo fans are dissatisfied with Wang Yang's nomination for the Magnolia Award. The dissatisfaction of Wang Yibo fans caused by Wang Yang's nomination for the Magnolia Award can be clearly analyzed and summarized from the following aspects. Nomination Background The 29th Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award announced the nomination list on the evening of May 30, 2024. Wang Yang was nominated for the Best Actor Award for his role as Shen Tunin in The Wind Chaser. Reasons for fans' dissatisfaction Wang Yibo, as the leading actor of The Wind Chaser, was not nominated for the Magnolia Award. Wang Yibo's fans believe that as the leading actor of the show, Wang Yibo should be nominated, and it is unfair to Wang Yibo that Wang Yang was nominated for the Best Actor as a supporting role. Nomination Controversy The Wind Chaser received five nominations at the Magnolia Awards including Best Chinese TV Series, Best Director Award, Best Actor, Best Photography and Best Art. Wang Yibo's fans believe that since The Wind Chaser has received so many nominations, Wang Yibo, as the leading actor, deserves to be nominated for the Best Actor. Fans' Behavior Wang Yibo's fans flocked to the relevant Weibo and comment areas to express doubts about the nomination results and attacks on Wang Yang. Some fans believe that Wang Yang's nomination stole Wang Yibo's nomination and was unfair to Wang Yibo's acting skills. Netizens' Views Some netizens believe that Wang Yang's performance in The Wind Chaser is indeed outstanding and the nomination is well deserved. Another part of netizens believes that although Wang Yang's performance is worthy of recognition, it is indeed surprising and confusing that Wang Yibo, as the protagonist, was not nominated. Impact of the incident The incident triggered people's thinking about fans' behavior calling on fans to look at the gains and losses of idols rationally and respect the efforts and achievements of other actors. At the same time, it also triggered discussions on the role positioning and acting evaluation of actors in the film and television industry, calling for more attention to the quality of the work and the strength of the actors. In summary, Wang Yang's nomination for the Magnolia Award caused Wang Yibo's fans dissatisfaction. Mainly due to doubts about the nomination results and recognition of Wang Yibo's acting skills. The incident not only reflects the fans' deep feelings for their idols, but also triggered extensive discussions on the role positioning and acting evaluation of actors in the film and television industry. In fact, Wang Yang's acting skills are really good. TV Series 2004, Special Competition of Spy War, this is Wang Yang's first personal TV series, thus officially entering the entertainment industry. 2005, My Kung Fu Girlfriend, he played the male protagonist Pu Shi Oji in the play. 2008, Shang Shifang, Wang Yang came to prominence for starring in this drama. 2014, Golden Jade Marriage, he was recognized by more audiences for his role as Liu Wen's Heo in the costume drama Golden Jade Marriage. In the same year, he also starred in the medical drama Young Doctor. 2017, Deep Sea Sword, the military drama he starred in was broadcast. 2019, Celebrating Union, Wang Yang won wide attention for his role as Tang Zijing in the legendary drama Celebrating Union, 2021, The Rebel, the spy drama he starred in was premiered on CCTV 8, 2023, The Silk Case of the Ming Dynasty Under the Microscope, in which he played the role of Chang Rinking, and was nominated for the Golden Lotus Best Supporting Actor Award at the 14th Macau International Television Festival. Film Works, not explicitly mentioned in the reference article that may include, Wang Yang has also participated in some film works, but the specific names of the works and roles are not listed in detail in the reference article. Drama Works In 2002, Wang Yang was admitted to the Beijing People's Art Theater and starred in many dramas such as Li Bai and Tea House. Awards and Nominations With his performance in The Wind Chaser, Wang Yang was nominated for the Best Actor Award at the 29th Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award. I hope everyone will pay attention to me. Next news. Wang Yibo's fans were criticized by the official media. Did he get the award stolen because he was not nominated? Don't ruin your brother's reputation. On May 31st, the calmness of the entertainment industry seemed a bit boring. If you really want to find a little ripple, it might be Wang Yibo's fans who made a small matter a sensation, their idol was not nominated for the Magnolia Award. The only problem this time is that one of the two male protagonists won the award, so Wang Yibo's fans broke the defense. At present, fans mainly hold the following three views, first, against the crew. In The Wind Chaser, Wang Yibo is the male protagonist, and Wang Yang is just a third supporting role. His nomination for the best actor is not just snatching or stealing Wang Yibo's first position. 
Second, against Wang Yang. In the Wind Chaser, Wang Yang's acting skills are really disappointing. He can only yell blindly. This performance style is obviously not enough to support his nomination for the Best Actor. The third point is about the consideration of the award organizer. Does the Magnolia Award selection place too much emphasis on qualifications, so that it is biased towards the new generation actor Wang Yibo? Does this mean that only experienced actors can be recognized, while new generation actors are prone to unfair treatment? Now let's analyze it in detail. According to the existing information, the crew does have two options for nominating the male lead of the work The Wind Chaser. These two roles are Wei Rule, played by Wang Yibo, and Shen Tunin, played brilliantly by Wang Yang. Both were nominated as candidates for the male lead. So, regarding the work The Wind Chaser, does it have a dual male lead setting? Looking back at the crew's initial promotional blog post, Wang Yang and Wang Yibo are both listed as the leading actors, and the other highly anticipated leading actor is the charming female lead Li Kin. Although the crew also actively applied for her, unfortunately, she did not succeed in being nominated. Next, let's talk about Wang Yang's performance in acting. I believe that those viewers who have followed the entire The Wind Chaser can easily point out which clips in the play are his explosive acting moments. Wang Yibo presented three touching scenes in the play, one was when he held his deceased brother in his arms, and his sad and helpless tears fell silently, one was when he was tortured, covered with bruises but unyielding, another time, he witnessed his friend committing suicide in front of him, and he was heartbroken and cried. In addition, there was a wonderful speech on the stage, and the lines were like a bright highlight, illuminating the entire performance. In Wang Yang's acting career, although there were not many highlights, Several scenes left a deep impression on the public. In particular, the breakup of his master-disciple relationship with Wang Yibo, the emotional conflict in that scene was intense and unforgettable. In addition, his emotional outburst when he was honest with his sister also showed his excellent acting skills. The most touching scene was the moment when his daughter pushed him away, and his faith collapsed instantly, which made people feel deeply his inner pain and struggle. So does this mean that Wang Yang's acting skills are worse than Wang Yibo's? When examining a problem, we must abandon a one-sided perspective and pursue a comprehensive and profound insight. The role of Shen Tunin, played by Wang Yang, is undoubtedly the comfort zone of his acting career. Shen Tunin, a financial giant born in an educated family and a second-generation rich man, is a character who stirs up the storm in the Shanghai financial circle, which coincides with Wang Yang's own temperament and complements each other. In the second half of the plot, Although Wang Yang's interpretation of the character's belief transformation process is mediocre and fails to bring a sense of surprise, it is also commendable. Although such a performance may not be enough for Wang Yang to win the honor of Best Actor, it is enough for him to be nominated for this series, which is an affirmation of his efforts. Speaking of Wang Yibo's performance in the play, since he left Shanghai, the plot seems to have gradually lost its original excitement. And his acting skills seem to have become a little jerky and from time to time it makes people feel as if he has withdrawn from the role and returned to his own state. A financial genius who should be full of keen insight often shows a sense of dullness, which undoubtedly weakens the audience's viewing experience to a certain extent, which is a little regrettable. This problem stems from a long-standing flaw in his eyes, which is the lack of depth and expression. The gap can be seen when compared with some actors, and this is where Wang Yibo needs to practice. As for whether there is a conspiracy on the part of the organizer, it is necessary for us to discuss it here. Fans have raised questions, why Wang Yang was nominated for the Magnolia Award while Wang Yibo failed to do so. Some people think that the possible reason behind this is that Wang Yang graduated from Shanghai Theatre Academy, and the full name of the Magnolia Award is the Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award. The connection between them seems to indicate a certain bias. Oh! Is the Magnolia Award just a self-entertainment for actors in the Shanghai circle? Fans always seem to think so. Once their idols fail to win the award, they insist that there is something wrong with the selection mechanism. Think about it, how should those actors who have won awards on the Magnolia stage deal with themselves? Perhaps there are indeed some unknown secrets or hidden rules in the industry behind the Magnolia stage. However, it is indisputable that the final DV King and DV Queen must have been recognized by the audience and won wide acclaim for their acting skills and works. The popularity of a drama and the outstanding performance of the actors complement each other and are indispensable. If we really want the best for our idols, then the most important thing we should do is to encourage them to continue to improve their skills and pursue higher artistic achievements. At present, 
The official media has also expressed its views on this matter and joined the discussion. Criticizing Wang Yibo's fans for ruining the idol's passerby popularity is even more contrary to the spirit of clear and bright operation. Friends who have watched The Wind Chaser should all feel that Wang Yibo has entered a new realm compared to other idol stars of the same period. This young artist, born in 1997, has great potential and there is no need to say more. Although he debuted as an idol, he has been questioned and criticized, and even now some people still point fingers at his works based on prejudice. However, this fan dispute will only deepen the public stereotype of him and make the tinted glasses heavier. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,